today I'm going to be giving you an introduction into the world of CSS. CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheets and it's a way of formatting your website documents. So changing font colours, font types, background colours, background images, table padding, etc. You can do loads of things in this. I'm going to be showing you how to internally embed your CSS scripts in this week's tutorial and in next week's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to have external style sheets. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Notepad, obviously, and we're going to write our HTML document. I'm just going to maximize this. There we go. So the standard HTML tags, which you should have learned in my HTML tutorial, if you haven't, uh, go to the an annotation in the right, top right-hand corner right now. Anyway, so HTML head title, this website uses CSS, close title. Now, this is where we use our CSS. So style, space, type, equals, uh, open speech marks, text, forward slash, CSS, close speech marks, and close tag. And then we want to do open tag, exclamation mark, dash, dash. And this is basically so the browser doesn't read our coding and put it into the website. And then we want to do dot, and then you can choose whatever name you want. So we're going to choose header, because this is going to be the header of the website. But you could choose style one, you could choose whatever. And then you want to open it with the squiggly bracket. Uh, sorry, I forgot what that's called. And then, so, uh, there are obviously going to be mistakes in this coding, which I'm going to go over later. But this is the type of coding for CSS. So font face, uh, font size, uh, and the color. And um, after you've finished each one, you want to put a uh, colon with a, an apostrophe. So uh, that's after you've finished font size, font face color and then you want to close the squiggly bits and then dash dash close and then close style and then close the head and we're going to open the body and we're going to change we're going to change the background color here you could do this in css and, we're going to be and i'm going to be teaching you later on but for this we're going to be changing the background color just in html so we're going to choose a um, black so uh, six zeros is black and then we're going to centrally align it and then div class equals open header now this is because we've cho chosen header, so we're going to call it header. And we close the div, and then we type whatever we want. So welcome to my site, and then we close the div tag. Now, as I said, there are errors in the CSS coding that I've written, um, because I've done this specifically so I can show you and go back and edit them. So I'm just going to save this HTML document now. I'm going to go to the desktop, and I'm going to save it as index.html. I've made errors because there, it, it's a slightly different coding from HTML to CSS, so it's different types of things. Okay, so now I'm minimizing it, and I'm opening my HTML document, right click, and I'm going to open with any internet browser, Internet Explorer. I'm going to do this time, but I hate Internet Explorer. And there you go, you can see the text is um, fairly, fairly small, it's not really readable, so we're going to minimize this. And that is because, if we go into our notepad file, I've put PX, I, I've, I, it's on pixels in CSS. So even if I take away the px, so I just save it as 5, nothing is going to change. If I press refresh, the size is still going to stay the same. The only reason we add pixels is it's just a general rule to get into good coding, basically. So 50, and I'll add px. So this should make it larger, and this should make it more readable. I'm going to refresh. Now, as you can see, the site, uh, the color has changed. It is gray. The color is gray, which is what we wanted. But the font is not exactly Arial, which is what we selected. And that's because we've done it wrong. It's not font face in CSS. So how about we try just font? Nope, that shouldn't work either. So if we go to refresh, it's still the default Times New Roman. In CSS, it is font-family. That's how you do it. Font-family and then whatever. So we've selected Arial. Press save. We're going to go to our website again and press refresh. And it's now an Arial, as you can see. So that's all the corrections in CSS that we've done. If we go back to our HTML document with the CSS coding, you can see the color is, uh, is six nines. But if we change it to six Fs, that should change it to white. And it does. We're going to go back and we're going to refresh. And voila, it's white. And there we go. That is how to do basic CSS internal coding. If we take away the div tags, which make basically make this stand out as going to the CSS, if we just refresh it, it's gone because it's in black. It's in black text, so if we highlight it, we can see it because there's no formatting around it to say that this is the CSS that it goes with. But there you go, that is how to do CSS internal coding. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe.